What's up, YouTube? What's cool? It's Gurias Hadden. It's time for life, and it's also time for another love after luck up, baby. Today, we are looking at Heather and Dylan. Heather and Dylan, the most popular, the most likable couple. Well, not really. I'm pretty sure everybody is just here for Dylan because he. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Anywho, we're just gonna see what they're up to now. <laughs> hey, you're home. You're out of here. I know. You're out of there. In here now. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you're home. You're out of here. I know. You're out of there. In here now. Yes. So what do you want to start doing? Well, I gotta really get be a get out. One hour out of prison. I'm so confused. Last time we shot them, they were going through a car wash. I have not seen this man sip a sip even water or eat yet. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh well. ID and Tomorrow get my driver's license. Right. So they just get their driver's license like that when they hop out of jail. I don't know how this works, but it seems it seems so. But then Quaylon got a whole truck, a whole five thousand dollar truck that Chevelle got her, him, and she he doesn't have a driver's license. I don't know how this works. You're gonna take me wherever I want. Bring it back and giving her what she deserves, whether it's hair done, nails done. You see, people always talk about this hair done, nails done thing. I think we wanted to, especially in the beginning of these type of relationships and stuff, you need to focus on, you know, uh, you know, saving some coin, stuff like that, because the whole nails done, hair done thing. There are some people that are CEOs. They uh, they they do their own hair. They keep the, the the they keep the look cute and you know cute and easy to maintain and, and, and quick to 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 manage every single morning or whatever right keep the nails short and and manageable some CEOs are not about all that some business women are not about all that some people that are working like proper jobs that are making out in this world are not about all that so you know it's also in song whatever you need baby hair nails hair did nails there like is that all life is about you people keep talking about this very superficial stuff. Then every week you're going to the, the salon to do your hair and nails, $25. 25 this uh, for nails or 40. In one sitting, $100 is gone. And then what do you have left? There's a lot of people that are broke and they're so focused on this hair done, nails did situation. But they're broke. Hair done, nails done to go where? To see who? <laughs> to be at what meeting? Whatever I can do to help. Just also, he's not working, is he? So how is he gonna do all that? I knew. I've struggled with drugs and alcohol in the past, so I have to complete a evaluation and check in with my PO once a month. Really generous of her. Yeah. So she's saying that's very generous of her. They're gonna stay with Heather's aunt Diane. Especially given that she's really ill. But at least we could be there, you know, help her. Keep her company. Where'd you get this man? Come here. Mm, is it Aunt Diana? It's good. Mind your own business. <laughs> Let's run that back. Diana. <laughs> it's good. Mind your own Come here. Mm, is it Aunt Diana? It's good. Mind your own <sighs> This is where it starts. So Heather is like, don't bite your eyelashes at Aunt Diane now. And then the, 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 the aunt is like, mind your old business. Oh, and she's not joking. You see this face? She's really serious, like mind your own business. Like when you see an old woman look like this, you better run or stay put and yes ma'am it till you make it because she's not playing. She might have a oxygen situation going on. But Aunt Diane is not joking. Okay. Wow, it looks good. How long have you known Heather? I've known Heather five years. She is 
my best friend. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, Anastasia. You know, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you guys. <laughs> I love how they zoomed in on the hands. So I zoomed in some more for you. You know, I've heard a lot about it. <laughs> yeah, these aunts are they're taking it to some level. But, you know, they're just aunts having a little bit of fun, having a little bit of fresh blood in their mix. They're excited. They're they're happy. I'll have you spoiled worse. Look at Aunt Diane. She's yeah, just a second ago. She was all kinds of scary. And now look at her. Cute Heather. little woman. I'll have you spoiled worse than Heather. Shh, Heather might be able to hear you. You gotta be quiet. Oh, actually, you know, yeah, she'll be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, Heather is a trip. I, I, mm, I don't know, Heather. She says she's going to the loo. So she's in the loo, and the other aunt is saying that Aunt Diane will have his world more than Heather will. And Dylan is jokingly saying, "Shh, she she might be able to hear you or whatever." Here comes Heather out of nowhere. She's literally like on the loo or something. She's like. What are they talking about? She does not look happy at all. Look at that face. But but for what reason? There's her grandson. Yeah, he's a good looking kid. So now they go and they're showing all kinds of family pictures. And you know, as you do, a stranger comes to your house, you don't know what to talk about. You just start showing family pictures. You just start introducing them to everybody in your family and chit chat. And this one is working at so-and-so and this one is working at so-and-so. Oh my gosh, I also have an uncle who works at so-and-so. And that's how you get some conversation started, right? Nothing. Just lighthearted, just chit chat, just you know, normal stuff. Everybody's happy, and happy, and having a good time. Do this. I'm no. only now, and no, seriously, I don't feel good. Yeah. I'm really not feeling well, and I need, I need to leave. Um. Did you see Dylan's face? He is mortified. So here comes Heather, and she's like, um, seriously, I'm not feeling good. I need to lie down. This, that, 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 that. All of a sudden, out of the blue, she's not feeling good out of the blue it's just I'm, I'm trying to figure Heather out I I don't know what's what Heather's deal is I, I really don't I've had some people in the comments saying that they think she's an addict um yeah it's just weird vibes man like wouldn't you be so happy that this guy that's an ex-inmate, first of all, is being received very well by this Aunt Diane. And second of all, that they're, they're, they're kicking it. They're having a great time. You know? I need to lay down. Okay, baby, lay down. Come on. Visiting with my aunts. Because if you're not well, you just come in, your demeanor would be so different. You'd be like, babe, I'm not feeling too well, like I'm going to lay down. But you know, just chill out with the aunts, you know, do you need anything? Do you need a drink? There's the fridge, just help yourself, this, that, that. You know, you, you, you guys just have a good time, boil some, you know, pop the kettle on for, for my aunts and you'll have a good funky time. I'm just going to lie down for a bit. I'm not feeling too well kind of thing. Oh, no. This one is like, I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. I'm gonna lie down. No, you just, you just have, you just, you just, you just, you just, you just be with my aunt. Like her demeanor is so whack and weird. I wanna come with you. Aunt's confused. Dylan's confused. Other aunt's confused. I'm confused. You're confused. Oh, I gotta go home. I this aunt is like, I do not want to be part of any of the drama. She's like, I gotta go home. And the other aunt's like, I cannot have the aggravation. I just have the aggravation. Okay. He is on oxygen. This on Diane is not well. She does not need this extra stress. I'm not going to go fast. Amen. I know you're not. Go in here, just chilling like I'm not doing that. Why are you not doing that? She says she's not feeling well. Now Dylan has stopped everything that he was doing with the aunts. He's like, come, we'll just lay down here for a second. That could be cool, right? You guys could kick it. Just lay on the bed. Just kind of talk, chit chat. This and that and that. Just leave these, these aunts alone. But also think about it. This other aunt does not live there. So it's only this aunt. She's probably lonely. She's sick. She needs people to talk to. You guys are there. Just play the game, chit chat. You know, after a while, you go to bed or whatever. Anyway, y'all can... be together or whatever but i also don't know why if this is the first the first time that they're together why did she get like a hotel or something like why didn't she go like far away from anybody just so that the two of them could just be by themselves 
what's the point of all this as grown adults like come back afterwards but like for the first i don't know this right this checking her business i don't know man but instead of you know showing gratitude she's talking in a way that i would never talk to any of my family members i know you won't dylan because you're a sweetheart you said sweetheart yeah nah hmm. we're out there talking about you babe he's saying this because he can sense that there's some jealousy there that she's like she feels like she's not included in the conversation you went to the loo for one minute imagine if she went to the store she would have been all over the place like what are these people been talking about you can see that his demeanor was cool that he was having a good time that he was open to talking to them and first that's first of all and second of all these people are old is she really in competition with these older ladies? Like, I'm confused. I'm absolutely speechless. Same. And yet, I'm having words to say because this is ridiculous. Can I do anything for you? Like Here comes the other aunt. She's like, you know, she's trying to see if she can do anything for them, this, that, that, because the whole situation is just weird. She's about to leave, but she's like, let me just say this, and then if they don't need anything, I'm a bounce. If you had some time with my husband, I thought you would be ever in life. Like, just once would be great. Hmm. Okay. So then Heather's like, yeah, can I have time with my husband? First of all, you guys are not married. She said they just decided that they were married, but these people are not married. That stuff doesn't work. You need to get to know each other, get familiar, as Quaylon would say. You need to get to know each other, get real familiar, get to know the entire family and all that before you can consider yourself married. Because when you marry a person, you marry the family as well. So you can't, you cannot really be saying that <laughs> you guys are not married. I don't feel good. She's talking about this ever in life as if anybody has ever interrupted her plans with Dylan before. Like it's very confusing. Yeah. It's like everybody's been waiting for you and she's literally holding a picture. Like she's ready to go down the family tree some more and tell him more about the whole family line and family tree and stuff like that and when did you heather find that quite important that he gets to know your family and stuff like that i know this is the first day it's probably not really what you envisioned yourself doing but that's what you gotta do i know yeah she's there because i don't even know if she explained that earlier but she's there because two weeks before dylan was supposed to come her house flooded so now she's with aunt diane whilst i guess that gets fixed or sorted or whatever but that's a very sweet gesture and yes it's it's always not gonna be like being in your own house when you're with somebody else but she's gonna have to suck it up no Aunt Diane. never mind she's ridiculous yes she is my aunts are like wanting to steal all of his attention <laughs> so living with aunt diane and dylan under the same roof is going to be an absolute nightmare we're just gonna go see the town and have some fun and just spend some time together so then dylan has to be like he has to be the one to say you know we're going away for the day maybe a few days I don't really know but the problem is his parole address is this aunt diane's address so if the parole officer comes knocking on the door like yo where's dylan at he better be there because these parole people don't play we saw that with christiana they snatched her out of that restaurant and took her to the halfway house they did not play so yeah this is very dangerous what they're doing now because because she's having a little tantrum he's having to leave his parole address and go to wherever they're gonna go a motel hotel holiday inn i don't know where they're going but why why put somebody's whole entire life in jeopardy this guy has been in jail for five years and now he's like he wants to do the right thing yada 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 and here comes this woman and she's throwing literally a temper tantrum literally a temper tantrum you see little kids do this stuff makes no sense it's got nothing to do with nothing but they're all over the place that's exactly what she's doing and he has to go along with it because at the end of the day her freaking out and going away or whatever and then he's alone with these aunties like that's also weird so yeah he has to follow her no matter what okay. and he yes, has to be the one to break this news to the aunt not heather, heather herself all right hold on thank you so much for letting us stay here thank you thank you so you're more than welcome sweetie it was nice to meet you it was nice to meet you sweetie i'll see you soon yes you will
if that guy calls or something. Yeah, I mean, listen, you don't got to worry about the parole agent. Uh, I'll let you know when he's going to be coming back around. I am just really torn at this point. I Enjoy have it. been sitting here for five years, day in and day I cannot talk to any of my aunties like this. I don't know who she thinks she's talking to. This woman is providing a roof over your head. This woman is providing a roof over an ex Amy's head. A guy that claims to love you, that claims to want to be with you, but you guys don't even really know each other. She's doing all that and you're talking to her like this because of what? Exactly. Stay out, doing everything I could for this man. The other is becoming scarier and scarier. I'm scared. Don't I deserve to? Because it's the eyes. Like she's, she's, it's the eyes. Try doing, try talking to somebody like this for, for, for as long as Heather has been doing. She's freaking me out. To be taken care of for one second. My God, my. Then she's like, okay, I'm gonna finish the dishes because I was doing dishes. Nobody wants this type of help if it's coming from this angry place. You know when people try to help you when you're in a vulnerable place and you're like. Mm -hmm. or like don't forget I'm doing this for you and I'm doing that for you if you have to mention that if it's not coming from your heart if it's not coming from your heart please leave it please leave it mm -mm. Mm -mm. so I'm trying to walk out I just did this you don't want to listen to a thing any damn body wants to say that's disgusting that you would do it don't let it's disgusting that this old woman is now finally screaming because it's got into her and it's like too much. This old woman has probably not screamed like this in years. But all the frustration is coming out because you're acting like a complete crazy person. I don't know about it yourself. What did I do? You don't know? Oh. I can name a few things, but you know. Oh, no problem. Okay. Not mm-mm. Cute body, amazing voice, I love her voice. Faithful woman, dedicated, loyal. But something is not right with her. Mentally, developmentally, socially, emotionally, nah. She wants to be an ass. I don't need her. I wow, this old lady has had it. What is with her? That's a great question. What is with her? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I, with Heather, I, I, I really don't know. She went and got this guy's tattoo on her five times. How did her house get flooded? I want to know. I want to know yeah that's a very strange timing but i wonder what it would have been like even if you know he would have been having to play by her rules i don't know this this woman scares me she scares me a little bit i'm, I'm a little bit freaked out because her her behavior is weird and that's all i gotta say about the matter if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bum stomp as zone and that subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think i really want to know what you think like i really really want to know what you think and i enjoy talking to y'all so really let me know what you think because this has just left me confused hit the like button and watch you how to hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow new videos every single day this is a lifestyle channel we do everything up in here so make time for glorious life, it's time to study what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm.